After taking a commanding lead in the PSL and the Q2 title, Sundowns entered the race for Q3 honours as clear favourites. However, the eight-game quarter turned out to be a little harder than expected, but the Brazilians managed to pip Pirates at the post to take the 1.5 million rand prize. Obviously, we feel good about ourselves. It's been a tough season. We've been working really, really hard to get where we are, and it's paying off at the end, so we're happy that we could win both Q2 and Q3. I think it's a moral boost for the team. We have set the goals to achieve at the beginning of the season and we really on the edge of achieving them and we are happy as a team, we are happy as players. The quarter started with a great win against the Marisburg United headed by a new coach determined to slay Titans. Luckily, it was Gekana's night. It was a good understanding of change of positions. If you check where I received the ball was almost as a half striker. The manager of position is midfielder. I exchanged a position with Kama. Kama came very deep and I went up. I needed to do what strikers always do. I played it wide to Castro. I had to dummy my move as if I'm going to the last ball, knowing that I'm creating the score is uh, first ball. And luckily, I got the ball and I scored. After Kekana assisted Billiard, he scored himself a brace. I haven't planned for it. I, it just came. Found myself in a very, very good scoring position. Okay, people would say they don't know of me or playing such a dribbling game, but you need to adapt to the situation and try to create your own moments. And that's what I did. I tried to look for a pass. There was nobody around me, and dribbling was the only option. And I, I, I managed to dribble past two defenders, and I scored. And yeah, it was and a brilliant goal for my side because I've never done that before. Uh, so it was a special goal. The challenge is playing against Marisberg, you know, a team that uh, are fighting for relegation. It's always difficult, as you know, that every point for them is very important. And, and you know, as Mamli Sundowns, the expectations are always high. You, you want to win as many games as you can. Playing against Marisberg was very challenging. They are very dangerous. They are looking for points and they have got nothing to lose at the day. I'm just happy we managed to contain them and managed to score goals that we, we really needed. And by the end of the match, they nearly gave us the trouble, but three points was right out there. Next, the Brazilians took another three points against Chipa, thanks to Castro and the tenacity of the general, along with the brilliance of Biliat, before heading to the Free State. Playing Free State stars away is always a problem, you know? And especially at three o'clock, it's always hot there. But we managed, they scored early in the game, but we never gave up. We always knew that once we score one goal, we'll come back into the game. The goal in the Free State stars, we were practicing the set pieces against them and are we going to move and when we got the corner kick ball went out I saw it's on his right foot so the only way it can go is it's an in swinger and KK got there before me and luckily it came from the keeper and I was just there to bury it in. We kept on pushing and luckily I scored a goal. The ball was being played on the right hand side and the coach always told me to get into the box. If it's not the far post, it must be like the 45 outside the box and Mbekile had the ball on the right and he tried to dribble inside the box and he laid it off to me on the edge of the box and actually didn't want to hit it too hard. I just wanted to place it and that's what I did and it went in. The goals have been coming from all different angles. It's defenders, midfielders, strikers, everybody's been scoring. So luckily for us, we don't have that problem with goal scoring. Sundown smash stars 5-2. That win and the CBD gave them an incredible advantage against their next opponents, Orlando Pirates. We've been working on it since Castro came to Sundown. Obviously, it took time to get there, but once we started clicking, you could see glimpses of it at training, you know, at some of the, the games we played. But against Pirates, it, it was just something else. We could find each other, and it happened with the two goals that I could find Kama, Kama could find Castro, and the other goal that Kama scored, Castro found me. I played it to Kama, and he played it back to me, and I tried to shoot, and it, luckily it fell for Kama again. So that game, um, things just worked well for us. I must say also credit to my other teammates, you know, because they've been helping us out a lot. It's about the whole team, not just the three of us. The rigours of being a top team took its toll and after returning from a Champions League loss against Chicken in a way, the Brazilians could only muster one point against Arrows before taking on Aces. Bumalanga Aces was the team that needs to stop Sundowns, but football doesn't work like that. We played well, we played very good fast football on that day. We played against a team that is very good. Machine of Tugal is a very good team and it's a solid team and they've got the way of moving and they push you up 
with our tech, but also you push us up with our tech. It's an opportunity for us to go out and we were breaking. And then we got the first goal. And the second goal came three minutes or four minutes after the goal. Kekana scored a brilliant goal. Kekana has been unbelievable with those goals outside the box. You know, he's been a noticeable man. When people are busy with CBDs, he comes and he scores for us. Sundowns beat Supersport 2-0, but Pirates were close on the Brazilians' tails for Q3 honours. But as football would have it, both teams lost the final game of the quarter and the Brazilians took the honours. It was really tough, you know, especially with us losing the last game. Although we didn't want to lose the last game, but we managed to win the Q3. For me, I always said that this is not going to be an easy season and every game was tough for us, but we've been working on it. Obviously, with us being in a tight position up top with Fitz being right behind us, we're taking each game as it comes. It's not about the end product, it's all about the process and the willing to work hard to get to the end product. We want to win each and every game that we play. It's like playing a final. We're going to give it our all and try to secure the league and the Q4. Now we start Q4. Very, very important for us to try and make sure that nobody gets more points than us. If you win three Qs, so it means you win the league. So we need to focus on the last Q4. That's now the finishing line. How do we deal with Q4? The challenge is that too many yellow cards, lots of injuries, lots of traveling, and it affects our league games. You're competing with teams who are not playing the same number of games. A very good example is a direct competition to Vets. They don't have a problem. They lost the game in, in Confederation Cup. This is for me to give credit to the boys and the team for the support that they have given us. Congratulations to the boys, to the technical team, our supporters, the way they sing now lately on matches, they don't even use the Vovuzela. It's unbelievable how loud they are and how encouraging they are to us. They're playing a 12th man on the pitch. Yeah, I'm happy that we won Q3. We deserve to win it. So we have to finish now. Good luck with Q4, boys. That's it for this episode. Till next time, good night and God bless.